What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of this gun f***ing rocks and this time we're taking a look at the convergence which is kind of like the polar opposite of the last video that I did which was the conference call. This gun is what the conference call probably should be. Let's be honest this gun is absolutely amazing. So the convergence drops from Dr. Benedict in DLC 4 the Psycho Creek DLC and this gun is kind of a pain to farm from him but it can also world drop in that DLC. This gun is absolutely amazing. This is exactly how the conference call and B shield felt like on Borderlands 2 back in the day where you just aim at somebody and you just watch their health bar disappear. This is a shock one. We're still tearing through the uh, the health bar on uh, these enemies. We're going through the armor on these guys. It's such a good gun. And uh, I don't see a lot of people using the convergence either. I know that the Heartbreaker is one of those ones that, uh, that I've hyped up and also the Butcher I've hyped up. But I think the people are probably sleeping a bit on the, uh, on the convergence. And this thing is absolutely amazing. What does this gun do? So as you can see, when you shoot enemies, it basically summons in a bunch of orbs near them that sends beams into them that does damage to them, which is ideal on Flax since you get all this crit damage. But it's also amazing on Zane using a Hustler Com and Eraser. You can do some really stupid stuff with that. But yeah, this gun is absolutely amazing. And I uh, really wish more people knew about this gun and actually use this gun. Do not shoot shields with this thing. They, uh, bullets ricochet off shields and hit you. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Just a little pro lesson there for you so obviously like i said this gun is ideal on flak it can be very good on other characters as well though like i said zane uh you can do some really cool stuff with this on amara using a uh ties that bind still in some mind build as well you know summon in uh your face grasp and grab one person and there then it grabs everybody else nearby and next thing you know, everybody on the screen is dead. It's pretty great to do that. I would say that this is probably least useful on Moe's of all characters. Because with Moe's, you're dealing with splash damage stuff mostly. And this thing doesn't give you any splash damage bonuses. So better shotgun options out there for Moe's, in my opinion. The main downside for this gun, in my opinion, is probably the reload speed. That's more of a Hyperion issue. And, you know, we kind of talked about that with the... Um, the conference call video as well. Also, I ran out of ammo because the one that I've got is redundant and it consumes two ammo per shot. So that is a thing that you have to watch out for as well when you're using this thing. If you get the redundant version, you are going to tear through your ammo pretty quick and easy. So if you do use a redundant one, make sure that you're using some sort of ammo regen. I mean, you can do terror ammo regens now. Terror ammo regen is extremely good and anybody can get that. And you don't really need any other uh, anoints really with this thing on uh, flak in my opinion. You don't need any damage anointments. This gun has never seen any buffs or nerfs. It never actually needed anything uh, to be done to it. It's been good right out of the gate since DLC 4 dropped. I would actually recommend not really using the redundant version. Like I said, even no, I'm using the redundant version here. I think the uh, the non-redundant one is just fine, and I really don't feel like you you truly need the redundant version. If you are using the redundant version, you are going to have ammo issues, like I said. So be on the lookout for the non-redundant version. As a matter of fact, this thing can spawn in all the elements as well. And as you see, we're using uh, shock here versus this armored kraken, and it still does work on him. So pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. Now this can spawn with a number of listed projectiles on this one. As, as you see, the one that I've got here is the redundant with a times six. You can also get a times eight variant on this thing. And there's also a times three and a times four version on this one. So as you can see, mine's a times six. The three and the four are the non-redundant ones. And I would actually recommend the, the times four variant personally. But in this, honestly, any of them that you get is going to be really good. You're going to have a good time shooting this gun. Make sure you get this in uh, as many different elemental options as possible because I'm basically using shock on everything here and that's not really always ideal. We are not using a revolter in this video. We would be doing even more damage if we did use the revolter. As a matter of fact, let's throw that on and I'll go down and kill the Valkyrie so you can get an idea of how much stronger this thing can be when you do min max yourself the right way to make the best use of this thing. All right, so now we're down here with the Valkyries. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my action skill, get my revolter up and as you can see, this thing just absolutely shreds these dudes dudes when you use the revolter with this thing it's such a great pairing this really does feel a lot like the b conference call from borderlands 2 when you uh, match up with the revolter on this gun it's a real great combo man and you will have the best time doing this stuff and you're gonna see like explosions everywhere so be aware of that before you get started using this combo so that's it man i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of this gun 
fucking rocks if you did make sure you hit that like button hit subscribe tap the bell icon for more let me know in the comment section down below what gun you would like to see next on this series i hope you guys have a fantastic day take care